Today, we are going to be naming the ionic compound ZnOH2. Now, here's a trick, guys. If you see that your compound has three or more different elements in it, you know that you're dealing with at least one polyatomic ion. So it's always best to identify the polyatomic ion and then work from there. In this case, I do have three different elements. I have Zn, which is zinc, O for oxygen, and H for hydrogen. So let's identify that polyatomic ion. Remember, guys, though, polyatomics are never going to be on the periodic table. You have to memorize them. So I wrote down the one that we're going to be using here. So just memorize this, all right? Flashcard it out, do whatever you got to do to just memorize. That OH, anytime that you see OH, it always has a negative one charge. It gains one electron, and it's always called hydroxide. So here it is. Here's OH. Found that polyatomic ion. And now we just have to name what the zinc is. Now, if we look at zinc on the periodic table, it's in this little corner right here, right? So it's part of a transition metal, right? It's a transitional metal, so it's a metal, so it's going to be in blue. Now I have all my elements accounted for, so I'm going to start naming. Zinc comes first, right? And that's a metal, and the metal name always stays exactly the same. So Zn would just be zinc, right? The polyatomic OH comes first, or actually comes last, right? And polyatomic ions, those are pretty easy to name because their name always stays the same. You just got to make sure that you memorize them. So this would be hydroxide. Okay. Now, here's the question. All ionic compounds, right, if the ones that have a metal in it, do they need a Roman numeral or do they not? Well, it depends on what the metal is. Now, this one, zinc is in our transitional metal group. So you would think that we would need a Roman numeral. However, this is one of the exceptions. So star this one out, guys. Zinc only has one charge. Zinc is always going to be a plus two charge. So it doesn't transition really from one charge to another. So zinc does not need a Roman numeral. So we are done in this case. So ZnOH2 is just zinc hydroxide. You do not need a Roman numeral because we know the charge of zinc, always a plus two. Thank you so much for viewing the video. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments, all right? Um, yeah, I hope you guys are doing well, and let's keep studying hard. I'll see you in future lessons. Take care. Bye-bye.